Hi everyone, hope you're okay. I was thinking today that it's been quite a long time since we've all been at school and it's actually now been a week since we were all asked to stay inside our homes and I imagine if you're feeling the same as me, sometimes feeling a little bit bored or like you really want to go outside. So I was trying to think of something that might make myself feel a bit better that one day this will be over and we'll be back outside and back seeing our friends and doing the things that we like to do. So I thought I would just share something with you that I actually did um, on a New Year's Eve one year. I think it must have been New Year's Eve 2018 because on the top of this jam jar, I don't know if you can see, I've written 2019, stuff to do. So on New Year's Eve I sat and I thought about all the things that I wanted to do in 2019 um, and try to make sure that I do them or if there is ever a time that I felt a bit bored or unsure of what to do with the weekend that I could open this jar and have loads of ideas of things to do. So just as an example, um, one of them I'd put in, I'd write them on little bits of paper um, that I wanted to go to the Roald Dahl Museum and I did actually do that, I did manage that because I do love the Roald Dahl Museum. If you've not been, it's in somewhere, I think it's called Great Missenden and it's a museum of all kind of artefacts from his life, examples of his work and actually where the museum is, is the town that he used to live in so um, you can go and see actually where his grave is um, and inspiration for his books. So there's the library that he got the inspiration for for Matilda and there's these kind of really old-fashioned um, petrol pumps that he used in Danny Champion of the World and the window in one of the cottages that is the window that um, is used in the BFG so that was a really interesting one I did do that eat pancakes I managed that I love pancakes one of my favorite things so I made sure I'm sure in 2019 I must have eaten lots of pancakes so that one was done I wrote down that I'd like to go to Cornwall. I didn't actually manage that. That might have been a bit ambitious. I didn't manage to go to Cornwall. And also this one confused me a little bit. Go fishing, which might seem like a nice idea to go and sit um, and go fishing for the day. But actually, I don't, I get a bit seasick. I actually, I went to Kenya and went fishing and I had to spend the whole time just looking over the edge of the boat because I felt like I was going to throw up. So I didn't manage that one either. So I thought now would be a nice time just to think about whilst we are in our houses, things we would like to do once we're allowed back out again. For example, now that I can't go um, and visit the parks and things like that, I would really like to try and visit every single park in London because I'm not sure that I've actually been to them all. Or I might like to um, try a new museum that I've not been to. Or actually even things, just make sure that I spend some time with my friends and go and see my family. Because I think now, when there's certain people that we're not allowed to see, it would be really nice to make more effort once we're able to see them again. So I'd really like to know, in the comments below, you can write down some of the things that you would like to do once we're um, allowed back outside again, kind of out of isolation, and things that you're going to make sure that you do. And actually, I'd really like you to share some ideas and give me some ideas for things to do in London once we're allowed back out again. Hope you're all well. Speak to you soon.